Hi, it's Double1975, and today I'm bringing you my first ever gameplay on Block on COD4 Remastered. Uh, this is a map I've seen once before in a Search and Destroy tournament. I watched, um, I think it was Merc and Nadeshot play on it, or it might have been Nadeshot and Big Timer, uh, two of the Optic Gaming guys, and, but not on Remastered, actually on COD4 um, in a TV2 game battle Search and Destroy match. So I was aware you could rush through the top to get to the other side. Now I'm not sure which level of the other building on the other side I'm supposed to be looking at for snipers. So I didn't even fucking notice that dude just took me out. And that's a common theme, uh, basically. I have no idea where I'm looking. I have no idea where I'm going. Here I do something really stupid then realize, oh no, that's the center of the map. Avoid that like the plague. Ichne on the center, that's like death. Um, everybody's in the buildings and the surroundings uh, looking at the center do not go in the center or if you do go in it very quickly and then head into one of the buildings so as you can see I'm running around and it's probably not a good idea but I picked this class to just literally hold down the sprint button as much as possible see as much of this map as possible run around as much as possible drop shot is so OP um, and that's basically what I did, because I want to see as much of this map as possible, because that's the whole point. The first time you play on a map, you shouldn't worry about KD score or anything like that. You should just try and get around it as much as possible, see as much of it as possible, to try and familiarize yourself with it. I get totally wrecked here. I think it's because I had steady aim on rather than... No, I did have... Um... Yeah, no, my bullet should have penetrated that, surely. Um, bulletproof sofa, maybe? I don't know. But... As you can see, I'm just pretty much holding down the sprint button while everyone else seems to be stopping and pulling out a sniper. So, this is probably not going to be one of those games where I uh, get a decent KD. This is probably one of those games where I get lost, frustrated and die a few times more than I should do. Um, but, thank you for the free stab. Now, like I say, I've never played on this map. I've seen it once. It confused the fuck out of me. There is so much... Um, it's so big and I really really didn't know where to go what to do um, and the constant UAV spam from the other team kind of um, I yeah I kind of go cagey when they got a UAV up um, and maybe I should just push more because you can to a certain extent rush when you've, they've got a UAV up because they don't expect you to run at them when you got a UAV but most of the time they're just sat around the corner waiting for you um, but there is always that adage of going hard enough and fast enough and you will make them flinch. It's not worked for me so far in COD 4 Remastered, but always used to work well for me in Black Ops 2. If you go out and hard enough and fast enough, you will eventually win the day. Force mistakes out of them, get them, make them miss. Um, here, like I said, I didn't even realise there was this area back here. Um, and I don't know where I'm going which really puts you at a disadvantage in a lot of ways um, but it is quite fun exploring new maps and I gotta say I actually don't mind this map I can see why Call of Duty moved away from this sort of design um, but it is an incredibly immersive real feeling map um, I'm actually thinking they're up there on that staircase and I do not realize they're right behind the wall right in front of me that is embarrassing that's probably my worst death to be honest in this footage uh, watching it back I'm actually watching it back for the first time so I'm kind of reacting to what I'm seeing pretty much as I speak so it's quite good fun because I wanted to leave this in its entirety completely and utterly in its entirety to show you as much of the map as possible me running around like a blue ass fly trying to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here again I've gone back into the middle I realize and I'm like oh yeah yeah stay out of this area whoopsie but I am trying my best to push oh claim up so you know there's a guy up here and I actually thought I had steady aim on in this game which I didn't realize until watching it back I didn't have on because I got two AK classes one with steady aim and one with bullet penetration and I thought I was using the steady aim one which is the one obviously that's designed to to run at people as fast as possible um, but as you can see I'm kind of 
using the UAVs we've got and just pretty much holding that sprint trigger down. I don't think people expect you to rush their spawn as hard and as fast as this on COD 4. Uh, people aren't used to people just running and rushing and rushing and rushing relentlessly. Um, and really, you shouldn't let me do something like that to you on COD 4. It's you know not that sort of game. The time to kill is so quick that you shouldn't get turned on. And here I actually realised that but inside of the building is the best place to drop your bombs because there'll always be a couple of snipers there. And here I do just decide to run across the middle of the map. I know I am doing it, but it's that late in the game. I'm just desperate to get kills at this point because uh, I just want to get kills. That's what I do when I play Call of Duty. I want to kill people. And unfortunately this team seem content to sit back on spawn when they spawn in. Or maybe it's just me where I'm so in their spawn all the time. I don't know. But as you can see, I am getting a good tour of the map. I do occasionally get lost. Um, I do occasionally get shot at by people I don't even know where they are. Uh, there's so many um, lines of sight in this and so many places snipers can hide. After this game, I played another one and I got killed twice by a guy in a bushwicky suit lying in long grass by one of the staircases. I didn't even know that was a thing. Here I get confused because I think I'm in the middle buildings and I go in this building and then realize Holy shit, no, I'm in the back corner. Why can you go in the building on the right in the back corner? I can see why Call of Duty moved away from this designer map, but it is an immersive, more realistic style of map, I would say. Um, even if it is kind of stupid. But I'd hate to play 2v2 Search and Destroy on this because there's so many rat holes and alleyways and places you can go. But that's it, this gameplay is coming to an end. And for my first try on this map, I didn't do too badly. And I did see as much of it as I really could have done. So that's all for this video. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.